You glance my way before you step within Your sigh and I shine in the cold setting sun Wave goodbye But you look through me Why don't you look at me? I've tried to be as open as I can Why don't you look at me? I'm tired of being the invisible man The invisible man Why don't you look at me? I've tried to be as open as Okay, I'll give this show Why one more try. Nothing can be as bad as the last show. Actually, nothing would be better than the last show. <laughs> the invisible man. Well, everyone, and welcome to another edition of The Invisible Man Show. My name is Mark David Stallard. Um, Ryan Jans cannot be with us uh, this week. He is actually, uh, as a family commitment, his uh, daughter's birthday, I believe. Um, I see Elna has joined already, so hi, Elna. Um, and if anybody else is watching that, give us a shout-out. Uh, make Put a comment in the... Uh, in the comments, and I'll I'll, uh, I'll give you a shout out. Um, and if you've got any questions, comments, uh, good, bad, or ugly, or otherwise, uh, yeah, put them in there. We'll I'll address them. Well, thanks. Uh, I like my shirt as well. It's nice and comfortable. <laughs> um, so uh, I've got a. I will have an hour of music, which will start just shortly there. But uh, um, I just wanted to say that uh, we did have um, uh, an announcement that we, sh uh, we should have made um, last, well, I think we did kind of make it last week, uh, but I didn't do anything, uh, didn't have anything scheduled or planned, uh, but we actually released our uh, EP today. It's available actually on uh, all the major platforms. I believe it's uh, out already. Um, so if you'd like to check it out, there are, is a link in the description. And we'll put some uh, promotional uh, posts out on Facebook and whatever um, later in the week. Um, I made the mistake of uh, scheduling it one week after the single, and I was meant to do it for two, so I caught myself a little bit off guard there, not being able to, I can only count in sevens, or I can't, I can only count in sevens, and I can't count up to 14, apparently. Anyhow, so, um, so today, this is going to be um, an Arab musical, or thereabouts, and I'm going to be trying, uh, um, playing some songs you've heard before on the show, hopefully, uh, maybe some that you haven't, definitely one I've never played in public before, um, which will be, be about halfway through the show. Um, so let's get on with the music. Usually I switch the screens at this point, but it's just me, so less for me to do. So I'm going to start actually with a song that I wrote, uh, I think I, um, I think how long ago it was. It was about, uh, maybe about uh, eight years or so ago. And it's a, it was a song that I wrote uh, for my, with my wife in mind. Um, and just the, the, the way that... Um, she had, she had not had a, had a fun time uh, the previous uh, couple of years before I met her. And this is kind of what that song is about and, um, and my wish and desire and hope to make, um, you know, just to, to, to try and make, to turn that, turn that around if I could. Uh, the song actually mentions, for the first time, it mentions a genie. And every time I sing it, I always think of Robin Williams' genie. Anyhow, um, no guesses for thinking why. Okay, I'm going to get on with the song. Um... Um, here we go, and I'm apparently singing, this is just for you, Alna. And when other people turn up, I'll be singing for them as well. Okay, so, uh, dreams, uh, dreams come true. I'm going to cover up the chat, because no doubt I will be distracted. Here we are. So, uh, dreams come true. Get the... So, hopefully you can't hear that rumbling in the background. Uh, I think I, I started the laundry a little too late today. <laughs> It'll be gone in a sec, anyway. Okay, the dreams come true. When I think of you alone with that disheartened view, thinking that this was gonna stay. 
I wish I knew you then to tell you this was gonna end. I would have wished my own dreams away. I'll give you everything you need. I'll grant you wishes. One, two, three. Oh, I would be your genie. I wish I had been there from the start to give you everything that was in your heart because there are so many ways that I could make your dreams come true. Now things have really changed, they never could have stayed the same The view is of a much brighter day It took a little while, but now I see your pretty smile I'll make sure that it stays I'll give you everything you need I'll grant you wishes, one, two, three Oh, I would be your genie I wish I had been there from the start To give you everything that was in your heart Because there are so many ways that I Could make your dreams come true I wish I had been there from the start To give you everything that was in your heart Because there are so many ways that I could make your dreams come true Now things have really changed They never could have stayed the same The view is of a much brighter day it took a little while, but now I see your pretty smile. I'll make sure that it stays. I'll give you everything you need. I'll grant you wishes. One, two, three. I would be your genie. I wish I had been there from the start to give you everything that was in your heart because there are so many ways that I could make your dreams come true. I wish I had been there from the start to give you everything that was in your heart because there are so many ways that I could make your dreams come true. There we go. Hey, let's see where we're at, sir. Okay, so Schleim has joined us. Hi, Schleim. Uh, okay, so give me a second here. It is a dry in the house. Oh, there we are. Oops. Bumping not onto all my uh, microphones there. Okay, um, just a couple of comments there. Um, with, um, Elna says, very nice song. Thank you. Um, and Shalim is clap, 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 and uh, uh, clapping as well. Um, yes, I had to point out that typo. Um, uh, qu a quick question, though, was uh, um, when is the uh, Invisible Man golf tournament? Um, does Ryan golf? I don't know if he does. Um, we've never golfed, and I had no plans to do an Invisible Man tournament this year. I don't know if I have any plans, but that's like the eighth time I think you've asked uh, Shalim, so maybe, uh, m maybe it'll be worth doing. So, um, the next song, look, I'll just move on. Okay, this song is actually on my uh, solo CD, which I think is on Bandcamp, if you wanted to get it, um, if you don't have it already. Um, I'm also um, 
I use this as a plug. We're going to be uh, uh, re releasing a remastered version of the my solo CD, my EP, and the Soul on the Mind um, CD as well. Um, there's not a big difference between the old and the new. It's just a, this way uh, we can get a, a uh, get it onto um, uh, onto Spotify and those other other services. It's just kind of easier to do it this way, um, and then we can. Uh, yeah, kind of move forward from there, but um, one of the songs on the uh, on the Soul of the Mind CD is uh, has actually been uh, um, re completely remixed because the vocals were really muddy, um, which I think was Winter Mystery. But otherwise, um, we were very happy with the way they worked, and we uh, we just um, we remastered them and uh, just get it nice and fresh. Um, so they'll be available soon. We won't make a big deal about that, but we'll, we'll let you know when they come out. Um, so this song is actually uh, I think very much of its time. Um, that means you know right now yeah, no. put that cup somewhere else so I don't have to reach through the microphones um, so this song is actually um, uh, it really it's about everyday life um, going having to go to work and be away from the people that you love and so this song is actually about um, um, just being, a, being being away and feeling the injustice of having to spend all your time uh, making money, effectively making money for someone else, so that they can live in a big house and uh, to take those uh, uh, luxury cruises wherever the uh, the business owners, uh, the you know, multinational corporation owners go or whatever. And when we had to stay, uh, stay behind and work and be away from our family. Anyway, a little bit of a lament, but uh, I really enjoy this one. I like playing it. So, so give me a second as I go back to covering up the chat. <coughs> Excuse me. It's not right. The microphone is right. It's not right for you to wait so long. But you know I'll be home soon. I'm making time to get home to you. I know that you're waiting to But you need to know that I feel the same I would circle the globe just to make the claim When I hold you tight Oh, I believe It's not right When I book I hope you know I'd rather be home I'm rushing back But the traffic resists Cause you know Just how slow that can be But you need to know That I feel the same I would circle the globe Just to make the claim When I hold you tight Oh, I believe When I'm in your arms, I am home I never want for more Never in need of anything Your embrace gives it all I never want to leave I have never been so sure But you need to know that I feel the same I would circle the globe just to make the claim When I hold you tight Oh, I believe It's not right That our days are so full And we know we need time just for us But I find Just one hour with you Revives me enough to go on but you need to know that I feel the same I would circle the globe just to make the claim When I hold you tight, oh I believe But you need to know that I feel the same I would circle the globe just to make the claim When I hold you tight, oh I believe It's not right it's not right Thank you 
Here we go. Let's look at the comments. So, um, um, I can't go back too far. Um, bless the pr uh, proletariats, indeed. Um, without whom we would have uh, no, we would have nothing. Um, no mistakes was made. I saw nothing, uh, and I heard none either. And we, we won't go there. <laughs> so it's always it's always funny actually when I'm. Uh, um, one of the things about uh, performing is that you don't have to learn the song so that you can sound really, really good and do it really, really well. You've also got to know it so well that you can recover when you screw up. And that means you've got to play the song a thousand times. So by the time I get to perform them, let alone record, um, I'm usually sick of them by, the, by then. Um, but yes, that was a, a, an example of just how you can recover and keep your composure. No one, no one likes, uh, unless I, uh, I make a, a, funny, a funny face, then you can laugh along with me. And I usually do, I guess. Here we go. Um, another clap, clap, clap from Shalim. Um, and I'm going to grab some more water. That's this song, actually, for... Uh, um, I wrote this, at least the first version of this. Um, oh, I'm, I want to say maybe 40 years ago, but I, I'm not that old, really. Um, in England, I was um, in my late teens, early 20s, I think. Uh, um, I was in... In a, in a summer camp, and I can't remember if I was a camper or I was on staff. Um, so I can't remember which year this was. I may well have been on staff actually. Um, but I, I just started, and it was playing around with some uh, Paul Simon riff um, uh. um, from one of the songs. I was trying to figure out how we did um, one of the songs. I end up coming up with something completely different for the intro. Um, the song is uh, really just a. You can tell it's a young man's song. The lyrics are kind of a little bit all over the place. There's some nice word pictures in there. And everything except for the very last four lines, the last verse, um, was uh, was written when I was younger. The I, I rewrote the, that verse, and I tweaked the chorus a little bit uh, just recently. Um, when I say recently, I mean within the last um, eight years or so. Okay, um, I hold on. Yeah, 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 yeah. I 
hold on to you. I hold on to you. I hold on to you and I. I live again. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. And if I made any mistakes, you didn't notice them that time. There we go. Um, okay, just looking here. Um, Elna, oh, so Elna's talked to Shalim about the weather. That's interesting. That's good. Oh, actually, uh, forest fires. Actually, I, I, I'm going to comment on that one because I, I actually work out in Ontario, which not, um, and one of the places in in Canada where there was forest fires. I think the, the one of the central points there was a place called um, um, Red Lake, and I go to that town. Um, I've been to that town a few times um, with my day job, um, and yeah, it was. I was actually. Um, drive, so, I, I, so I drive right around northern Ontario and one day I was uh, coming back and everything was fine I was up uh, Sioux, uh, Sioux Lookout um, which is about the same same distance from Winnipeg or uh, from the US I should say uh, but just uh, another hour and a half further on and I didn't notice any smoke whatsoever I knew there was fires but it wasn't until I actually drove back and I got almost almost to the Manitoba border and then suddenly everything went yellow, and all the, the uh, you could like you can taste it and pick out the bits of a uh, um, smoke out your teeth almost. Anyway, so there we go. Here we go. Okay, uh, Shalim is asking, um, how did the launch of the new version of he's uh, going to find you go? Uh, I actually I haven't had too much feedback. To be honest with you, I've actually been in Ontario. Uh, for yeah, since um, yeah, all pretty much all week, and I'm actually commuting from uh, Winnipeg to uh, it was uh, it was just um, I can't remember where we were now. Um, <laughs> so I was actually commuting like two and a half hours out and then two and a half hours back. So I I had no energy at all to even follow up on anything. Um, but I can uh, I say that um, so far so good. What little I've heard. Um, and I think that's I've already answered that. Is there um, Going to be more promotional vehicles for the song, including a time with. Actually, you know what? We haven't. Uh, all the promotion that I had planned was was sent out, and I think I probably overdid it a bit. Um, so I think every day for about a month I had a, a new image that, that was pushing up. Uh, um, and Shalim, I don't think you were here right at the beginning when I was talking about the uh, CD, the Invisible Man EP, and I kind of ran out of time on that promoting that one, and it's actually out now. Um, so I only gave myself a week to promote it after the single. Um, so you can check it out. Uh, link in the description. I will promote. Uh, we will promote that uh, in the coming week. But uh, yeah, I just didn't get around to it yet, just because I've been so busy. All right, that's enough of the talking. I like. Uh, oh, well, Ellen says I like the song. Thank you very much. So this song actually was um, this, this song. Uh, it, it's, uh, it's on the Invisible Man. Um, Sorry, it's all in the mind. Uh, CD. Uh, it's probably one of. Um, I, I think it's one of. Them, we get one of them. What well, is one of those songs that we seem to get the most praise over? This one, I, I think, Moonlight Mist, which I'm not going to do today. Um, and uh, and it goes down well. And I think the the uh, the whole idea of the song, the concept, was that I wanted to write. A song that was kind of like my bridge over troubled water, and what I and what I mean by that is um, a song that was written to encourage that special someone and be uplifting and all that stuff. Not in so not it's not intended to sound like it at all, uh, but that's what the song is. It's um, um, I want you to know. And I, I think I think we got a bit of time. I'm going to indulge a little bit. Um, the song starts off uh, with a little riff. And um, it was actually inspired by Smoke, Smokey Robinson's uh, Tracks of Your Tears, or Tracks of I Can Play. Some people say I'm the life of the party. Right, you get it, right? So, now what I, I decided one day, what would that sound if I played it backwards? And this is what I came up with. From the first. I never doubted your place in my life Oh, and I believe Look in my eyes 
I tell you as often as you need The time has come To tell you something I know you need to hear So that you believe Look in my eyes I'll tell you as often as you need I want you to know There's always someone waiting for you I want you to know that you never have to be alone I want you to know someone's always here for you and I hope you believe it's me never again oh will you have a solitary life oh and I believe as long as you live Oh, I will declare what is deep inside I want you to know There's always someone waiting for you I want you to know that You never have to be alone I want you to know Someone's always here for you And I hope you believe It's me From this day on Hold my words until you have their need Oh, and please believe Wherever you are Whenever you feel you're on your own I want you to know There's always someone waiting for you I want you to know That you never have to be alone I want you to know Someone's always here for you And I hope you believe it's me I want you to know There's always someone waiting for you I want you to know that you Never have to be alone I want you to know Someone's always here for you And I hope you believe it's me Yes, I hope you believe it's me oh, oh, I hope you believe it's me There we go And of course, oh, excuse me, I was going to get some water I, I drink a lot, so I do this on stage as well um, I have to drink between, have, have a little sip between each each song, otherwise my voice gets all scratchy, so excuse me while I take care of myself. All right. Now, I've been, I think I've mentioned this before on this show um, about that song, is that it was, um, um, there's a line in there, it says, um, never again will you have a solitary life. Meant to be up, uplifting, um, and, and as and one day the kids were, were playing around, messing around in the basement, and it's really loud. And I see my wife was getting a little bit frustrated, so I thought, "Oh, I'll serenade her." I sang the song, and I got to that line. Um, I think I was probably annoying her as well um, by singing it. And she got that line, and she said, "Is that a threat?" Anyway, it always makes me laugh that one. Anyway, <laughs> um, we go. So we got the question there. Uh, can we buy the new EP on CD? Uh, you, not yet. Uh, we haven't got any. Uh, we haven't got those made yet, um, but we will uh, be getting the EP, uh, the the EP uh, in physical physical form once we uh, definitely for the time we do our first uh, gig, which I'm hoping is going to be um, sometime probably uh, sometime in October. We're uh, just trying to sort that out. Just got to make sure that we have time to practice. There we go. Okay, oh, here we go. Um, so, um, Shalim just says, um, and this is, I think this is what you call misinformation, is what, that's the new word on YouTube. Um, the band name did not come from a line in the Yellow Submarine movie. The It's All in the Mind does, is in the, 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 uh, the Invisible Man, sorry, is in the Yellow Submarine movie, but that's not where it came from. It was, uh, after a long, long, long search, the It's All in the Mind was the only name that, well, that I could come up with that was unique um, and original and that, that kind of stuck with me and it kind of 
to some degree it kind of explains what's going on in my head. I'm a, I can be, or while I'm serious on the show because I've got lots to, I've got a lot to juggle here. I'm usually, a, I'm not really that calm normally. I'm all over the place bouncing off walls. Um, however, the Shalim's explanation is a far better explanation than mine. So uh, I'm, if you hear me on the uh, radio on TV one day giving that explanation, uh, you'll know I stole it from Shalim. So. <laughs> Okay, um, Elna says, one of my favorite songs, this one, uh, Don't Fly Away and Winter Garden, are in my top three. Um, oh, <laughs> so Shalim is, uh, I think, denying that it was misinformation, but. Uh, actually, I do recall, actually, Shalim, you sent me a link to, the, the, to the, It's All in the Mind, and I think there was a clip, and then you sent that to me. Um, and I, I, I don't know if I told you at the time, but I, I thought that's a good, that's a good explanation of why we call it. It's all in the, um, it's all in the mind. Anyhow, on with the song, on with the music. This one is, uh, I've never played this one in public before. We almost did it, and we was almost did a version of this when I was in um, Robert Andres' blues band there for a couple of months, and we we did rehearse it, and then I I left the band um, to pursue uh, other things, um, my own music uh, for the most part. So this song is actually, uh, I wrote this one, it's one of the last songs, if not the last song I wrote uh, before I left England, and it's actually a breakup song. It, it's changed, the, the lyrics have changed just a little bit, as, as they do um, when I was younger. I, um, I look, look back at some of the older songs and I kind of tweak them a little bit just to make them make a little bit more sense. Um, but this is a, actually a breakup song and it is, I'm in currently working uh, recording in it, so it's really difficult to record. But I'll play the song and then maybe I can tell you a little bit about why it's so difficult. Um, so I pull, hopefully, hopefully the guitar's loud enough. I'm gonna move my mic away so I'm not booming. But uh, there's a lot of guitar, fiddly bits. I won't be looking at the gear camera. And um, I am gonna cover up the chat. There we go. So a song's called It's Hard For Me To. Oh, I was gonna move a bit closer. Well, I'm going to start again. Um, well, uh, we'll cut that out in post. Something on my mind And these thoughts Have made me blind mm. How can I believe What I see In my memory to say you know that i miss you can't you feel it kiss i want to tell you it's hard for me to at 
Don't the mist rise What could I say Were you ever by my side As I awaken The dream is over Fading like a shadow in the sun Look in your eyes, I hear you sigh Call out my name, I don't know what to say You know that I miss you, can't you feel it, kiss? I want to tell you It's hard for me to It's hard for me to It's hard for me to There we go. I don't know why I'm having trouble with that song. I've rehearsed it lots. Um, so we, uh, oddly enough, yeah. Sorry, there's a couple of couple of flubs um, in uh, in there. But I have actually been practicing this one ridiculously a lot. So I have no idea what's going on there. But maybe it's just the the lights and the camera and uh, it's hot in there as well. Anyway, so um um. Okay. Uh, yeah, so Shilim's asking about um, uh, Ryan. Yeah, Ryan's actually got family commitments. His uh, daughter's uh, birthday uh, celebration today. Oh, so we should say actually happy birthday to Evelyn. And they're, although certainly no one's watching, I'm sure. Um, they're off doing other things. Uh, people are beginning to ask about when we'll see the next episode of Song Club. Uh, the first, uh, I think it's the first Sunday in September. Um, uh, so yeah, so we took the two months off, two full months. Um, so we will um, let's we'll start preparing for that soon. I guess in a couple of weeks. Uh, that guitar intro sounds almost medieval. Thank you, Shalene. Um Tasty guitar playing. It's uh, the other side of you uh, for the fans uh, to get into. Um, you can just play the guitar. It's so nice. Uh, uh, he's really good. Thank you very much, Alna. Uh, uh, I don't tend to write that kind of uh, material very very much. Um, I tend to focus more on the um, songwriting and uh, um, um, and, you know, and and singing. So that's kind of where my main uh, interests are. But some, every now and again, I do put on uh, some fiddly bits in. Um, and they um, and it's, it's it's kind of funny that that song I've I've practiced at least three times to, uh, today, m many times yesterday, and I was doing it flawlessly. I've, I've actually I've actually recorded it and I recorded it fairly quickly, so I have no idea why I'm. Was flub flubbing <laughs> a couple of flubs there uh, earlier. So the reason this was uh, so difficult, I obviously I can play it, um, and I can play it beginning to end, you know, maybe in a couple of takes. Uh, but it's really difficult to record because I want to actually put some virtual instruments on this track, so I've got to make sure that it lines up with the beats on um, on the program that I'm using. Uh, so I, I so I have to have a click track going so I can keep to it when I'm. Uh, uh, when I'm playing it. The trouble is, is that we've got three distinct parts in the intro, and they're all slightly different speeds. They're all a little bit, I think it starts off uh, slower and it picks up a little bit. Uh, then it goes from 3-4 at the beginning to 4-4 four, four for the bulk of the song where I'm singing, and then it goes back to 3-4 again. And it, it, even when we go to 4-4, four, four, the chorus is actually five beats per second slower than the, the verse. Uh, so it was a real nightmare to try and get that in there. But it's down. I may have to re-record the vocals, but um, it was done, so it was really, really difficult to get that done. Um, and actually, the first time I've, I've actually done it in public, so maybe that was a little bit nervous on that one. Okay, just reading the comments there. Um, uh, Shalim, he can play Happy Birthday for us on our... Maybe. Actually, it was... Uh, um, 
Um, uh, so m- uh, me and Shlimo almost celebrated our birthdays on the same day. His is on the 5th, and I'm n- the next day. So uh, so if I get that right, Shlimo's on the 5th, um, uh, Elna's on the 6th, and mine's on the 8th. There we go. We're, we're, it's all of us. Um, so happy birthday to us. All right. um, and I'm, uh, I just turned 10, according to my wife. There we go. How are we doing? We're doing all right for time, I think. Uh, any chance of a live show with other artists uh, where you and everyone plays a few songs by each artist? That would be fun. Yes. Uh, we are going to... We uh, don't have any anything... So, okay. Uh, next week, we were going to have an hour of music with Jenna from Lotz. Uh, unfortunately, I can't make the show uh, next week because I'm actually my father-in-law's funeral. Um, so I won't be... Um, I won't be going. Um, oh. Okay, I'm... Uh, Anyway, uh, so I won't be here for that, so I had to cancel. Um, Jennifer is going to be uh, coming on the show in November. And I think, I'm, despite the fact that we introduced a new format last week, I, I wasn't feeling that good about it. And I think um, one of the reasons I uh, started to, decided to do music for this episode was because that's what I really want to do. I don't really want to be a newsman. I don't want to be uh, doing all these little clips, trying to get clicks. I just want to play music. So um, I think we're going to see a lot more of these music-focused uh, um, shows, actually performance and I'm going to be playing on every single show. It's my show I get to play. So that's November 5th. Okay. Not um, August. There we go. So we're not having birthdays on the same time. Actually, I do I do remember Shalim having the uh, November 5th, yeah. Yeah, so thanks for your condolences, Shalim. We will pass it on. And Elna, thank you. Right, um, yeah, let's get more. let's move to the music. Okay, actually, oh, here we go. I got some actually old songs. I actually went through my list of uh, songs. And I thought, well, this is my show. No one's around to tell me what I, what I can and can't do. So I went through my through my list of uh, of, of songs, about seventy or eighty um, songs that I can play at a moment's notice. And which ones have I not played for a while? And I thought, well, screw it. I'm going to play those songs that I want to play. This is this is. Um, I think I played this one like a week or two ago. Oh, it may not be a week or two ago, but before the break, anyway. And it's a song that I wrote um, <laughs> a long time ago in England, um, and it was inspired by the view out of my bedroom window. The song isn't about anyone in particular. Uh, if I can remember how it goes. There we go. I think we're good. Uh, the song is called uh, Like a Dream. The strange place where I retire is my mind A dolly world of fantasy is in my eye I daren't even call your name Or touch you while you are here Cause I'm afraid that like a dream you'll disappear Neither moon nor stars can comfort me tonight I wander over rooftops with my eyes I daren't even call your name Or touch you while you are here Cause I'm afraid that like a dream you'll disappear Through your eyes I try to get inside your mind To break down barriers I twist and pry But I can't push you too hard To see the things I'd like to hear Cause I'm afraid that like a dream you'll disappear I'm afraid that like a dream you'll disappear 
Like a dream you'll disappear That like a dream you will disappear Here we are. Bring everybody back. Okay, just started screaming through it. Um, yeah, Eleanor, stop typing when you're lying down um, and, and get that spelling sorted out. All right, there we are. Um, okay, like a dream, very nice. So, uh, will you record? I think actually I have already recorded, waiting for a bass line. Either that or it's actually next on the list. Um, uh, we're about to go in there. We're getting quite a lot of songs recorded. Just waiting for uh, Ryan's bass. Um, that family man has got a uh, day job that takes her, so we, can, we can't do it during the day, um, and so on and so forth. But you got it. I'm mumbling. Okay, I think I've got a couple more songs in the lineup, um, and if I can remember. Oh yeah, here we go. This one, this one I definitely did recently. Um, Again, it was I'd written around about the same time. I think it was uh, the same same view out of my bedroom window, um, and it's just about one of those uh, um, kind of a, it's, it's seems like a negative song, but it's just about that moment, uh, the end of a relationship. It's it's over. It wasn't a bad breakup, but knowing that in the future, um, just just get past the, these these next few weeks kind of thing, and things will look up um, summer. Effectively, the uh, messages. Uh, yes, it might be raining, but the uh, summer's on its way. The song's called "A Little Rain Must Fall," and uh, this has already been recorded. <laughs> Just be preemptive on the answering your question, Shalom. <laughs> For a few days, the sun was shining. Preaching a kind of hope But the sky clouded over And it rained In the distance I hear thunder Screaming out for peace Its voice is never heard Above the rain Oh, it's true a little rain must fall and thunderstorms before, before summer comes. Now the book that lies before me is open yet unread. I cannot think now in the rain. The tide is slowly turning, although it has not yet returned. It stops and looks round as summer comes. Oh, it's true, a little rain must fall, and thunderstorms before, before summer comes. In a flood of adoration, I gazed upon your face, but you turned into a memory, only a trace. And the cause of my ill feeling is that I tasted the summer sun, and as I reached out, the sun had gone. Oh, it's true. A little rain must fall and thunderstorms before, before summer comes. Summer comes. Summer comes. Summer comes. Summer comes. Yeah. Ah, so uh, Shalim says, a uh, little rain must fall. Poignance can be interpreted on different, deeper levels. Yes, indeed. Um, there, was, there was an intention of the, the metaphor being not telling us what 
<laughs> using the metaphor of, uh, uh, of the weather and the rain. As you do in England, you focus a lot on the, on the rain. <laughs> well, used to, at least you used to before global warming. Um, yes, and I'm, uh, no, one, no one actually said it this time, but yes, there is a, a hint of mash about it, apparently. It wasn't intentional, but that's how it came out, I guess. Mm -hmm. Oh, actually, I missed a question from earlier, I think. Uh, are you recording with drums? Uh, not as a rule. Um, if, we're, if, there, if there's a song... Not gonna reset. We, I'm, I have not put any drums on any of the new songs, I don't think, because they're the slower kind, like this. Some percussion, perhaps. Um, definitely, definitely a tambourine and some shaky eggs and uh, claves as well. Uh, but the, there's lots of strings, definitely on the five that I finished, uh, or seven that we got finished. Uh, so lots of strings, a couple of them have horns and stuff, to playing around with some orchestration. So um, we'll figure out when we're going to release those, but I don't think it'll be too long. I don't want to. Uh, sooner I get them released, to the uh, then that kind of frees up my plates to continue recording more. And... Um, so Ellen says she, she can play drums. Um, some, something knows we all we all know it about you now, Elna. We all know now that you play drums. Um, um, apparently, we should learn from an ex. <laughs> so, um, not, definitely not wasted time. So, um, let's have a look. Wow, really liked it, says Shalim. Did you say a hint of mash? Yeah. Suicide is painless, right? Yeah, I think you. I think you pointed that out. So. Actually, I don't know what the... Was that not the tune for the movie? I can't remember. I've only seen the movie once. Um, and not, yeah, definitely the TV show. Okay, um, I've got one more song, I think. And then we're probably going to end there. It's a song that actually that uh, Ryan um, and I wrote. So that's one of those ones that came out of a jam. Um, I'm going to cover up the chat because that does distract me. Um, even if there's no chat going on, I tend to read it while I'm, while I'm playing. It really does put me off. I think having a, a playing in a noisy bar or in a in a, a coffee shop where people are talking to each other and walking around is less distracting than having some words printed on the bottom of the screen and I, I just have to read them. Anyhow, uh, so this is a song called "Dancing in the Rain." Um, Ryan came up with a, a bass line, which I'm obviously not going to play, um, and uh, I tried to fit some chords to it, and it became actually a very very basic uh, three chord uh, verse. And then, I, of course, I uh, I jazzed it up a little bit, um, and I tied it uh, in with a, a bit of bluegrass, the, my only bit of blue, bluegrass I ever learned. Oh, there you are. I didn't learn it very well, and uh, so I slowed it down and fit into the chords. There, uh, so it's a song that's a little bit of a little bit of a tongue-in-cheek parody about how utterly hopeless uh, men are when their women go away for the weekend, and uh, um, so that's why I had in mind for this, and it's. The world just comes to an end, um, uh, and but there's obviously a happy ending. Anyway, dancing in the rain. The sky threatens to fall to earth. This world couldn't get much worse. Oh, it hurts so long when you are gone. But when I see you, I'll spin you round and round again, and then I'll hold you close. And we'll be dancing in the rain Showers chill me to the core Then it pours Just when I can't take any more Oh, it hurts so long Since you've been gone But 
when I see you, I'll spin you round and round again, and then I'll hold you close, and we'll be dancing in the rain. The clouds let through a glimpse of sun. It shines, foreshadowing what was to come. Oh, the hurt is gone. Now you are home. And now I see you. I spin you round and round again. And now I'll hold you close. And we'll be dancing in the rain And now I see you I spin you round and round again And now I hold you close And we'll be forever dancing in the rain And now I see you And now I see you And now I see you There we go. And the wait and the show was with a nice Beatles ending. There we go. So thank you very much, uh, Shleem and Elna, for joining me. And we'll uh, hopefully in a couple of weeks when we come back, we'll uh, be able to entice, uh, get Chris and Martley back and whoever the other two or three that usually are uh, unnamed in the uh, in the chats as well. Um, that's actually a lot. Uh, <laughs> uh, Shalim is saying, uh, sorry, Elna is saying, uh, Mark is calling us distracting and we are being so quiet. It's just that having a line out, I've got the, the chat, even the last line, I'll look, I'll look at that and uh, my, my mind just goes, so it doesn't even have to be active. I just read the comments and ah, I'm thrown, throwing me off. Um, uh, let's have a look. I think think a little talk of mash yeah go check it out it's a classic if you can find the uh, the version that they uh, played in england uh, um, it's, it's far superior they there's no laugh track on the english version um it is actually hilarious um and it's uh, really poignant and um yeah, i think it's still relevant actually i think i still still laugh at that show mash is great um well that was fun so shleem sing 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 oh look shiny Oh, well, okay. Oh, no. oh yeah, I see. Making fun of me. Shiny things. Shiny things. Yeah, that's me. Um, well, that was fun. Uh, that's a little bit, uh, I think, I enjoy those, these shows uh, a lot, lot more than when we're doing all the talking. It's uh, This is kind of really what I want to do anyway. So we're going to be doing a lot, a lot more of this. Um, um, and, and I don't have to look at all the screens. We're not um, doing all uh, all the fiddly bits in the background as well. So that I, I can now actually enjoy the show a bit more when um, we're doing this kind of thing. Um, yeah, so I think that's it. Um, I think uh, I, I did have something prepared, did I? Yes, we did. Here we go. I'm going to read, uh, read my. I'll leave, read my clothes. So there. So that's all we have this week. If you haven't already, please click the thumbs up button and subscribe and hit the little bell so you'll get notified when you go live or post a new video. Um, uh, and if you'd like to support us, please consider buying us a virtual coffee. The link in the description. Links to the uh, CDs are at the in the description as well. Um, and uh, yeah, I, 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 I've ruined my script, haven't I? So uh, uh, because if you weren't watching, we'd just be playing. I'd just be playing with myself. Anyway, so I just see a comment there. Um, are we cancelling future guests? No, we are cancelling hour-long um, in interviews. Uh, um, those are not fun. Oh, they, they stop. I say they stopped being fun. Uh, we have made some good friends doing it, um, but every time we have a guest on and we make it about the guest, um, yeah, this my music is getting. Um, uh, is, is kind of getting pushed aside, and, and this is important to me. And I, so I want to do, um, I want to focus more on the music, get some um, recording and everything. So if I'm doing shows like this, which is mostly music, we can do an hours of music, an hour of music, as well. I love to do those. Um, um, originally, our plan was to, or my plan was to do the new format that we tried out last week, um, but I think that this format with song after song after song, and getting guests on to actually play live, I think is 
for me, it's more fun, um, and I find it's far more enjoyable to hear other people's music rather than just talk about it. So, um, uh, so I think yeah. So that hopefully that answers your question, Shalim. Um, we I'm not opposed to having a, um, an interview show. We've got a. Um, I do have one booked. I can't remember the name. Oh, my brain's gone. It's the end of show. Must the. Uh, I'm exhausted, so my well, my energy levels are, are starting to drop. Uh, but we do have, we have one guest coming on in two weeks, I think, um, and that'll be a full interview show probably. And but that will be the last show. We do have Bandwagon coming on sometime in the future. That may well be another interview show. But we're not going to be doing them every week. Um, there we are. So music performance. I think that that is the way that I, I I'm going to do it because it's more fun for me. I'm playing my guitar during the week, so practicing isn't, isn't an issue. It's the same time that I would be spending anyway. Um, um, and so all the, the, the work that we do to prep for interviews and so on, and that can take an hour, two hours, um, and, and even longer, and prepping all the uh, all the advertising. It just, it just takes the time, and I don't really feel like I'm getting a lot out of it. I think we've done that to death. Um, but stay tuned. Um, we are going to have, we are gonna have, have guests to perform. Like I said, Jonathan from Lots in November. And uh, we are going to have some uh, announcement, I hope, in, when we come back in a couple of weeks. Something big, I hope. Uh, we'll find out if uh, the plans that I, I've i got with this certain young man. Um, actually, I'll, I'll tell you his name. Uh, so Jared Adams and I are going to be working on some a project or two. Um, we haven't really spoke about it, but we're going to meet on Wednesday. Well, fingers crossed that something works out and we can uh, uh, well, have something nice and big to announce uh, to to you guys in a couple of weeks. Okay, I'm rambling now, so it's probably a good time to leave. Um, here we go. Yep, there we go. That's it. Uh, thank you so much for joining us, and we'll catch you in two weeks. Don't forget, and uh, we'll, be back, we'll be back with Ryan for sure. Well, I say for sure, but... Well, almost certainly Ryan's going to be joining me. So thank you very much, everybody, and we'll catch you all in... Um, oh, looks like uh, Angela's joined us. So thanks, Angela. <laughs> um, so thank you very much, and we'll catch you in two weeks. Bye. Well, thank God that's over. Now we can disappear. Not literally. Hey, your clothes ain't supposed to disappear as well. Are you still here? Ah, I hate it when he does that. I'm going to put a bell on him or something. <laughs>